Hello, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Darren and this is Darren's Corner. On today's episode of Darren's Corner, I'm going to be showing you how to pick a pomegranate and also not just picking it, but how to cut it. And I'm going to be using two different methods of cutting it so that you can extract the aerials from the pomegranate. And um, before we go ahead into this video tutorial, if this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on my channel. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, which is that button you're seeing on your screen. And then also click on the bell sign so you get notified when I have new videos up. So let's get into the picking of a pomegranate. So when you want to pick a pomegranate, you have to lift it up first and check the shape. It shouldn't be round. You want something that is like box-like in shape. When you lift it up also, you want to pick the one that is heaviest. And then when you check the stem, you want to pick the one that has a close stem. So those three tips are things that you have to look at when you're picking up a pomegranate. And then the next thing also, you also have to check the color. You want one that is dark, darker in color because the, the colors actually vary from pink to um, a dark red so you want to pick that so I've picked up my pomegranate and I'm gonna be cutting it up and for cutting this pomegranate I'm gonna be using a, a paring knife I'm gonna be using a spoon I need a bowl and I'm just gonna slice up the top by just using my paring knife to extract that top and then I'm gonna be cutting around that bump that you can see me pointing to I'm just gonna be a little bit sliced downwards I'm not gonna cut it off completely so I'm just going to cut all those angles that are protruding, just a little bit sliced downwards and that's it. So once you finish cutting, you're just going to open it up. And when you open up, you see the jewels inside this pomegranate. A pomegranate is very, very, very nutritious. It's a very powerful fruit and a lot of people should really be eating this. This is very high in antioxidants. It fights a lot of cancer cells and then also um, increases brain function and reduces blood pressure. So it's very, very good fruit. So you're going to use a spoon. Once you open it up, you're going to use a spoon to just hit the back of the pomegranate. And... Um, just so when you're hitting it, you're trying to extract those aerials. Those the aerials um, are the seeds that are just coming out. That's what it's called. It's called an aerial. So just use your spoon, hit the back of the pomegranate, and then just um, allow the seeds to fall off. And that's it. That's how to extract the aerials from the pomegranate. And this aerials is what is packed and loaded with nutrients. So this is the first method. And um, I've just shown you and you can see guys I've extracted all my um, arrows from it and you can see the carcass so this you're not gonna do anything with it. you're just gonna throw it in the garbage and then the arrows I'm gonna be doing a lot of things with it if you've been following me on Instagram you would have seen the different things I've done um, with my arrows and I'm still showing more so if you get to follow me please follow me on Instagram and um, just to see more of the things that I have for you guys and then um, we're going to be going to method number two now. Um, same thing, I'm going to cut off the top of my um, pomegranate and then I'm going to do the same thing, slice it downwards um, uh, on the protruding aspect. You can see that my pomegranate is not round, it's kind of box-like in shape. So that is what you should be looking for when you're trying to buy one. And then I'm going to get a bowl of water and then I'm going to just, you know, turn this into the water and begin to use my fingers to extract the arrows you can see how beautiful the arrows are looking so that is what i'm just going to do now begin to use my fingers to release the arrows which are the seeds um, into the water and yeah it's better for you to use um do it this underwater because it easily dislodges better inside um, the water if you're going to be doing it outside water is going to be a little bit messy and clumsy kind of so yeah so this is another easy method to extract the arrows from um, the body of the pomegranate so you're just going to continue to dislodge the arrows from the skin of the pomegranate 
and um, yeah you just continue to do that make sure you do it on the water and um, so just continue that process till you extract all the arrows from the skin So once you're all done dislodging the arrows, you're going to pack the pulp and <laughs> discard that and clean up your arrows. So this is a clean finished product. You can see how beautiful this looks. So you can incorporate this in any of your recipe. Um, I've actually incorporated it in my oatmeal. I've incorporated it in my salads. I've incorporated it in my cream caramel. You can juice this up also. Um, it actually has an endless use. So just Go ahead and feel free and incorporate it in any diet you want any diet that you feel wants to add a little bit of sweetness or a little bit of crunchness into your meal and it's very very nutritious as i meant to mention um, it's really packed with a lot of nutrients um, it helps it has um, antioxidants which helps in fighting against cancer cells and of course um, also helps in reducing blood pressure as well as increase your brain um, memory so it actually reduces brain impairment so this is really a powerful food food um, so you should actually exploit and try as much as possible to take this and um, that's it guys if you've really enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and um, comment in the comment section please share this video as much as you can and if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel and help my ministry Thank you so much and bon appétit.